Oh ho ho, it's December and in a couple of days I'm going to be flying to Egypt. Really looking forward to it, nice diving vacation, getting out of the snow and yeah, diving. Um, now when people are diving, some of them are using this. This is an underwater notepad that you can use to make notes underwater and to communicate with each other. Well, I figured I'd try to 3D print one of those and give it a proper test then during the vacation. Now there's a couple of things that I need to test first before trying to 3D print one of those. Number one, how do I attach the pencil to it to make sure that it doesn't slip out or anything like that and stays attached to the thing. Number two is I need to make sure that um, I can actually write on it. I'm planning on using ASA, which is salt water and UV resistant, which makes it the perfect material for this use case. And number three is that, of course, I have to find a way to actually attach it to my jacket. Um, so let's do a couple of test prints and figure out what's what. All right, here's the test piece. Um, it's essentially here, obviously, just a flat surface to do the writing test. And here it's different sides of size holes. This uh, number right here is um, not the diameter, but actually the radius. So you have a 3.9 millimeter radius, 3.85 millimeter radius, and so on. So let's see how it fits. First hole, easy, no problem. Second hole, also easy, no problem. Third hole, oh, snugly, but, oh, no. but good actually in terms of, of grip. And uh, 375, let's try that one. Yeah, 375 is tight. That actually is locked in, okay. Ah. All right, now as for the writing test, let's try. Please subscribe. <laughs> that also works quite well in terms of note taking. And last but not least, let's try to also erase that. Well, also works. Perfect. Okay, and with that, we have this. This is the what I call Max Pad. <laughs> um, ASA printed all of it here on the side. I can put the pencil. It's actually quite a snugly fit, so it doesn't, you know, slip out too easily. And here on the back of the pencil, I will put this um, also ASA um, cap. Squeeze it out. Then I can just attach it to the pad using some Dyneema, which should also work quite well for underwater usage. And to a dive jacket, I will attach it using a regular retractor and this hole right here. Let's put it together. Now with this whole thing finally assembled, I can just attach it to my jacket. And whenever I want to write something down on the water, I can just open the retractor and have access to the pad. Now, let's get to Egypt. Let's go diving. We have arrived at the uh, Oasis Dive Resort in Marsa Alam, Egypt. I try to come here pretty much every year around December to escape the German cold for a little bit. It's an awesome dive resort and I mean, it's the middle of December and we have 25 to 30 degrees. Shirt and linen. <laughs> and uh, the day here, I mean it's a dive resort, it just resort revolves around getting up early in the morning going on two, three dives, and then going to bed early after dinner. A couple of, you know, call them compression beers after the dives. Anyway, um, now that we are here, it is time to get into the sea, which is, oh, well, let's see, I'm located there. And put that head to pet to the test. 